What are we going to do today? Today we're going to show people how to set up a small PA system with background music, two microphones, a mixer, and a set of powered speakers. To set up the system, you're going to need three IEC power cords, a power source such as a power strip, and four XLR cables, and you can use a aux cord or a Bluetooth receiver. I'm going to be using a Bluetooth receiver for the background. But let's start by plugging in our microphone. So I'm going to grab my two XLRs. So now I have my two XLR cables. What's, a, what's an XLR cable look like? An XLR cable is a cable used for like microphone and stuff like that, but it looks like this. It looks a little bit like a triangle at the end, upside down but it has three cables because it's a balanced wire so these remove noise and hiss from your system over a quarter inch. We're going to want to plug in the microphones into channels one on our mixer. We're going to plug mic one into channel one. Now these cables are a little bit annoying because you got to get them in just the right way or else they don't go in. So we're going to plug mic one into channel one and microphone two into our mixer on channel 2. So now these cables, you can plug them into your microphone and on the mixer they don't lock in, they can just be pulled right out. But on the microphone they have a little clips that are locked in so if you try to yank on them you'll just yank the cable out of the connector but it's good because then if someone's walking around the mic the cable doesn't fall out. And you press the button to release it. Now, let's plug in our speakers. You're going to want to grab your other two XLR cables. I have all my XLR cables in a pile over here, so they're a little bit messy, but usually you'd want to tie them up neatly, but these were just used for a small show, so... So what kind of speakers are you using today? Um, the speakers I'm using is a pair of Alto TrueSonic Express 8s. These are the older version. There's a newer model out. So you can't really find the 8s even anymore, but the newer model and the older model, same speaker. They just changed the look up a little bit. So to hook up your speakers, you're going to want to take the female end of your XLR cable, and you're going to plug that into the input on the back of the speaker. And then you're going to want to come over to the back of your mixer and find the XLR outputs. You're going to want to go to the output level switch and make sure that's out for a line level output. The mic level output is for if you're using this as a sub mixer or a mixer to add on to another mixer in a bigger setup. But we're not doing that with this today so we're running it line level out. Now we're going to take our other XLR cord and we're going to plug that into our other speaker and then hook it up to the back of our mixer. Now, let's hook up power. So now we're going to grab our three IEC power cables. Now, an IEC cable has this sort of end on it. You might also know it as the cable that you use for like a desktop computer or a laptop power supply. Now your mixer and speakers, they should come with these, so these you don't have to buy separately like you would with XLR, so that's pretty nice. Just gonna plug them into the speaker. Take our other cord and plug that into our other speaker. And then take our very last cable. We're gonna plug this into the power connector on the back of our mixer and then again into our power strip. You want to keep everything on one central power strip in order to not get noise and you also want to turn on your mixer first before you turn your speakers or else you have a loud pop that could damage them. And then lastly we're going to hook up our little Bluetooth receiver to our setup so that we can play background music. What kind of cable is that on? 
Um, the cable we have on this receiver is since this one has the output of a 3.5 millimeter male, we're using a 3.5 millimeter female to dual quarter inch adapter to plug into our board. You can also use an aux to RCA adapter and use the tape inputs, but they aren't as loud as the quarter inch inputs. We're going to plug a receiver in there, and we're just going to turn on our receiver and connect it up to our phone. All right, it's connected. And so I'll get it. And then now, after you turn your mixer on, you can go turn on your speakers. Now in the back of your speakers, you'll see they have one volume knob. You don't want to turn that up all the way, as then you'll be on the mic level side and you'll severely damage your speaker. You want to turn these up, straight up and down, halfway to unity. Then, now, we can turn our speakers around so that they'd be facing the audience. And then, if we turn up our channels to unity on our input, now the pan knobs, you want to turn them like that. You usually don't have to do that, but this is a more advanced mixer, so you do Let's get a closer one. look at this. So we have the pan knob set to left and right. We have our EQ at unity, our mains at unity, and we have our channels unmuted. So this is going to be our master volume knob now. So now, you can play a song on your phone. And play them. Our table rattles a little bit as these speakers have a very strong bass to them. Now, you can turn on your music and you can come, you can unmute your microphones. And, this is mic one. And you can turn up your main and your microphone, and you can talk in there, and now you have a PA system. And you can turn off that mic, and then you can also use your second mic, or you could use both of them at once if you want to. And that's how you set up a small basic PA system. Excellent. Let's hear some music. And you can use the microphones at the same time you're playing music if you want to karaoke. Rust on 